Back over to you. Thank you so much. Well, good afternoon, everybody. What do new commercial and military capabilities mean for the maritime domain? In the end, technology is technology. Leadership matters mm -hmm. yeah. for everything. And again, I'm very thankful to be with my partners uh, because every one of these leaders on the stage is working with us every day to deliver a free and open Indo-Pacific. Too focused in on what are the military technologies that are changing, whereas actually the real game changes. え、え、こう how, how are these contributing and what is, what is your perspective on, on how they contribute to deterrence and potentially to, to the conduct of warfare? Yeah, sure. Uh, in the, uh, you're aware that in the, in the maritime domain, you know, the, the challenges are just not uh, traditional or non-traditional. It is also uh, a problem for all of us. You know, it, is, uh, it doesn't, uh, uh, it's transnational, I would say. And uh, therefore, uh, the challenges cannot be addressed uh, individually by any nation. So therefore, uh, there is uh, a need for cooperation. And in fact, the U.S. Navy in, the, in 2015 had talked of a thousand ship Navy, in, including all the uh, friendly uh, uh, the, uh, you know, partner navies you know, uh, coming together. Uh, so uh, that is something. Uh, we in the maritime domain always uh, look forward to to find uh, you know how to uh, cooperate how to work together thank you so much